As with any artist, there is more heart than hand in this work, inspired by dark days in the civil rights struggle. You wouldn't stone an animal and kill it. Why would anybody stone a black person and kill them? After marching hand in hand with African Americans in the 60s, Cape Cod artist Pamela Chatterton Purdy adopted an African American son and another child of Vietnamese and African American descent and learned firsthand about discrimination. We had people that told us that we were bringing incest into the family because we had now a black son. I have a dream today. Martin Luther King and so many martyrs lost their lives just struggling for their constitutional right to have a full life like most Americans. Now, works in wood and gold leaf memorialize 16 people and events critical to the civil rights movement. Children's Crusade, Birmingham, Alabama. Ah. Over 1,000 children oh, jailed. This lifelong United Methodist sees the icons as windows to the soul. They are on view in the Boston State House, schools, and churches. It's a perfect fusion of art and information. This needs to be seen. It certainly brings you back to a very sad time in our history, hopefully one that will never happen again. I sense the holiness uh, of what they portray and the struggle of a people to be free. Those who um, forget the past are bound to repeat it. We are already being resegregated in housing and in education. Perhaps this will jolt us back to reality. This video was brought to you by the people of the United Methodist Church through world service donations.